Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is April the 5th of 2024, and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. For those of you who are new to this channel, thank you for joining us. And if you enjoy the content of this video, please take a minute to subscribe and click the notification bell for notification of further videos. For those of you who would like a printed copy of this word today, please go to my website, scroll down the first page, and click on the upper right-hand corner of the word posted there to access a downloadable printable PDF. To review past words, please go to the archives. My website address is in the description box below. I hope everyone is doing well and anticipating good things ahead. Though we live in times of rumors of war and threats all around us, we can know that we are secure if we are in Christ. The Lord has promised that He is our strong tower and that we can be under His wing of protection. And that is great news. But there is more good news. The Lord promises to do even more than that. He has promised that we can be overcomers in this world that we live in. For those of you following this channel, you may have noticed that a lot of these prophetic words are teachings that the Lord is bringing His counsel to us and His words of encouragement through His counsel. This word today is another teaching. I hope you will be further equipped and encouraged as you hear it today. It is titled, Victory with Our Words. I'll begin by reading scripture. Psalm 37, verse 30. The mouths of the righteous utter wisdom, and their tongues speak what is just. This verse of scripture acknowledges that our words play an important role. Proverbs 18, verse 21. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. This scripture verse goes on to tell us that there is power in our words, and that the words we speak can either bring life or death. John 6, verse 63. The Spirit gives life. The flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you, they are full of the Spirit and life. This scripture verse tells us that the words that we speak with the Spirit of God bring life. Revelation 12, verse 11. They triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. This verse of scripture gives us insight into how we can have victory, and that is through the words of our testimony. I'll begin reading this word. Walk in and take the land. Do you understand how to take the victory over your circumstances? Have you finally gotten to the place where you are able to overcome? I have been teaching you how to be an overcomer, says the Lord. I have brought you to the place where you see that there is a battle between the good and an evil report. 
I have lifted your eyes up and off your circumstances and on to me. I have directed your gaze upward. When you are looking up, you rise above your circumstances and they have no power over you. But when you look at your circumstances instead of the things above, you are defeated. This is the lesson I have been teaching my bride, that victory comes by overcoming a negative report with the word of the Lord. I have shown you that as you speak out the word, it brings life into lifeless circumstances. This is what I call walking by faith and not by sight. This is what I expect those who put their trust in me to do. Though their circumstances may look impossible, all things are possible toward those who look to me, says the Lord. Have I not taught you that the realm of the supernatural supersedes the natural realm? Have I not made it clear that the greatest weapon you carry is the weapon of your testimony, that the words you speak either bring life or death, that the power is in the tongue? Speak life and you will see life. Speak death and you will see death. So, you see, you have a choice. Nothing is too difficult for your God. Nothing. I say nothing. So continue to speak those words of life. Continue to call into being those things that are not. For in so doing, you are bringing the spiritual into the natural, and what you have declared in the heavens will be made manifest in the earth. Walk in the power given you. Trample the enemy underfoot. Destroy the works of the enemy by speaking forth the word of truth. Know the truth, and it shall set you free. Understand the heart of the Father is to bless abundantly beyond all measure, and that he wills that none should perish. So speak it forth into the heavens. Declare that every knee shall bow before my throne. Acknowledge the Lord over the kingdoms of the world. Trumpet forth the message to an erring generation that the Lord God Almighty reigns. Let this be the testimony on your lips, says the Lord. In this word today, the Lord is making it clear to us that he is wanting to teach us and reaffirm us that we can have victory in our circumstances and victory in the world at large, that he has given us weapons of warfare and that our greatest weapon is the words that we speak because the words we speak have power in them, his power. The Lord is teaching us that these spiritual words have power over the natural realm and that as we speak them forth into the heavenlies, they will manifest in the earth. The Lord is assuring us that nothing is too difficult for him and that as we speak these words of life, as we call into being those things that are not as if they were, they will eventually manifest in the earth. Maybe we have understood this concept, but are we using the words we speak to overcome the enemy and take back the ground that he has stolen from us? Or maybe we do not understand the power the Lord has given us 
through our testimony and through speaking the word of God. But in this word today, he is encouraging us to take things even further and to declare his lordship in the earth, to declare forth his word that every knee will bow before him and every tongue will confess that he is Lord, that the Lord God Almighty reigns over all the earth. This is how we can have victory, not only in our own circumstances, but in the world at large, because these words are full of the Spirit and life. I hope this word today will encourage all of us that we are not victims of our circumstances, that God has given us the victory through Jesus Christ. He has given us his word and he has given us his power in the words we speak so we can nullify the works of the enemy and take the victory. May we rise up and speak life into our situations and into our world and walk in and take the land. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings. Bye for now.